Welcome back, Crooklyn crew. It's been the longest two months of my life, but my life went down, then it's back up, then it's down, then it's back up, and that's how life goes. I am so excited to be here with you. I am so excited to be doing this video with you guys, and this is my first one that I've done in two months. It's a special day. Today, we are heading to Harry Potter New York City. I'm so excited. They had the grand opening yesterday, and I was going to go yesterday, but it was like pouring rain, and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not going out there in no rain. It's going to rain today as well, but I'm more prepared mentally for that. So we're on our way. I'm about to get ready. I'm so excited. If you know me, you know I, my heart beats harry potter not the actual guy harry potter but like the series the you get what i'm saying i'm so excited all right so i'm done getting ready if you don't have me on tiktok follow me on tiktok i did a get ready with me video this dress is the dress that i got from uh, Shein. I did the haul video a couple of months ago, so this is where that's from. Check that video out if you haven't already. Show you guys the kids. Sweet Cam. Tix Cam. Okay, so I'm exiting the 23 Street train station. I'm so excited. We're almost there. I have to wait on Nani for when I get in front of the store because we need to scan our codes together so we can get in at the same time. So I got to wait for her for a little bit. Oh. 
when he got the same shirt as Rachel. Oh my god. Is that the actual shirt? No, these are so checked in at 10 a.m. and we're now getting here it's 4 p.m. it's now our time they're ready for us and guess what they close it off for the last ones to go in oh. Hi. you see that house you see this house let's go the best house my girl. My man. Oh. Rest in peace to a real one. Rest in peace to a real one. This pin is high. It's high, bro. This is my girl Hermione's wand right here. Look at the elder wand. Come on now. Ooh. Look at the wand. It's the details. It's all in the details. Okay, okay, okay. I will say anything. Do I need butter here? Yeah. That's why I'm making those noises. Yeah, so this is 
That's nice. What is this? All the houses. No, what is this though? Oops. Like, what does it do? This is all oh, this. Oh, this is all for the, the fridge. This is what I would like. Oh, that's play. <laughs> Literally play. Available for TikTok. Perfect.
Okay, so I wanted to show you guys all of the things that I bought from Harry Potter NYC and I'm so excited like y'all I feel like y'all know I love Harry Potter if you didn't see my Universal Studios vlog from like two maybe three years three years ago I was freaking the hell out when I first got to the Wizarding World when I first walked into Hogsmeade when I like I was freaking out and I plan on going again hopefully this year um, because it's my 30th this year and what better way to celebrate than going to Universal and going to the Wizarding World that I love so much and the last time we was there they didn't even build Hagrid's uh, roller coaster ride yet they built it right after we went so I am so excited to go back and just like experience that again it was amazing if y'all have not been to the wizarding world please go if you guys are in new york city please go to harry potter and why it's amazing okay so first of all can we get into this bag that they give you it costs five cents uh when you go to the store the bag will be five cents extra but or you could buy they have like the little tote bags at the cash register and i think they're like five dollars extra but i took the paper bag because i was getting a ride home from the city so yeah if you're traveling i'd advise you to bring your own bags um if you don't feel like buying bags but they also have those five dollar bags so yeah this is the paper bag. Um, as you can see, it has Dumbledore on here. Love it. The back looks like this. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you guys, let's start off with the cheapest item. We're going to start off with Butterbeer. So I bought three Butterbeers. Oh, I actually have one in the fridge, and I should open it and drink it right now for you guys to tell you what it tastes like. These butter beers are vegan. I've had butter beer before, of course, but these butter beers are vegan. The ones that's in the bottle, they have a uh, well. You guys saw they have the like the bar, like the butter beer bar there, and they have the butter beer on like tap. But the ones that's in the bottle that they sell, it's six dollars each, and they are vegan. So I picked up three of these. So I'm actually going to be opening this while i'm on tiktok i have my tiktok up and it's set right now i want to open this so you guys are going to get it at the same time my youtube family and my tiktok family and also if you don't have me on youtube tiktok please follow me on youtube it's the same crooklyn underscore curls and youtube if you don't have me on tiktok please follow me i am about to hit 50 freaking K on TikTok, which is crazy and also amazing. And I feel blessed and I feel like I be busting my butt. And obviously like this is something I love and I enjoy doing. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. YouTube, I'm about to hit 50 K on TikTok. I don't even know how to feel, but let me do this video real quick. So I'm opening up my Butterbeer for the very first time. I'm actually recording this on YouTube at the same time. So if you don't have me on YouTube, please follow me on YouTube. It's the same name, Crooklyn underscore curls. And if you don't have me on Instagram, also follow me there. Okay, let's go. Oh, don't tell me I'm not going to be able to open it. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. Excited. It's vegan. It was six dollars at um, Harry Potter NY. Oh my god! It is heavenly. It is heavenly. <coughs> Excuse me, or not? So good. Oh my gosh! Please go visit Harry Potter NY or the Wizarding World at Universal so good okay so like i was saying i had bought three butter bears so now i only have two left <laughs> and i don't know i'm such a hoarder i might just keep this wrapping paper it's so cute everything is so cute and detailed like i can't take it so i got three butter bears they were 18 dollars because they were six dollars each um next i think i'm going to show you guys so i want to do from like what I spent the least money on, because I don't want to say cheap, because let me not give you guys misinformation. It ain't cheap in there, okay? So, um, 
Um, okay, then there's the Slytherin keychain. It's silver. This is what the back looks like. It was $15. $15. But. <laughs> First of all, I need to know what houses y'all are in. Please comment down below which which Hogwarts house you're in because baby, if you didn't know, now you know. Your girl is a Slytherin. It's Slytherin. So, um I got this Slytherin pen. Really freaking cute, really cute. It was $22 and it seems pretty solid. It seems like it's really good material. This is actually the first time that I'm opening it. Look at the case that it comes in. Like it's so fancy. I have Slytherin pens, but they like I got mine from like Primark and it like broke. But this was $22. So I'm hoping that it's nice and heavy. Woo! I could I could I could mm, somebody with this. This thing is heavy, y'all. Look at it. It's so beautiful though. And guess what I named my pen? Nagini. I had to. So this is Nagini. And Nagini was $22 well worth it i just feel like anything that <laughs> that comes from harry potter or the wizarding world or hogsmeade or wherever it is wherever i get it from um it's worth it like it's worth it like when you're like a fan and like this is something that brings you joy and it does harry potter brings me joy i love watching it and i love sharing this with my kids now um, and I love that Cam loves it so much. And I love that Sal loves it. And my family is getting into it. My older sister, she wasn't even into it. And now she's super into Harry Potter. And I love that. I also um, bought her a pen. She had got a pen and a book. And I'm going to show you guys the book that I got. Um, she got Hufflepuff. My sister's a Hufflepuff. Cam is a Ravenclaw. I am a Slytherin. So my sister's a Hufflepuff. So I got her the yellow Hufflepuff pen. And it was $22. And this is the next thing. This is my Slytherin book. This is it compared to my head. So it's a pretty good size. It doesn't have any like lines or anything inside. Look at this super cute green bookmark. I love this, like this metal thing. So I got my sister a Hufflepuff one and I got myself the Slytherin one and this is $25. This is $25. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is, let's do the umbrella. I can't open it up. I might just go outside. Let me go outside and show you guys the umbrella. Okay, so this is the umbrella. This is what it looks like. Ah, this is what it looks like open. It is extremely cute. Let me like try and hang it on something so y'all could see what it looks like. Hold on. Or not, I just put it this way and you guys can see it like that. So this is what it looks like. It is extremely freaking cute. And I was checking out at the counter. I was about to leave and um, I saw it and it was like, it was only like two of them left and I got it. And it was $25, I believe, let's see. Yep, $25. So, it was pouring down rain when we was going and um all the workers that worked at harry potter that was standing outside they had these umbrellas up and i was telling my best friend i was like no i need that umbrella it is extremely cute and when i was going throughout the store i couldn't see it like i didn't see it anywhere and it wasn't until the end when we was leaving and we was checking out it was right there at the front by the register so i'm super grateful they still had some it only was like th it was only like three of them left um, and one of them looked a little beat up and I got the really, really good one. I had the best looking one. So I'm super grateful that I found this at the register. It was $25, well worth it. I can't wait to wear this in the rain. Yes, it's an accessory. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is wands, of course. Like I already have a Hermione wand and I got that from Universal Studios when I went to the Wizarding World there. Um, but of course I had to get wands. I'm going to show you guys Cam's wand first. So like I was telling you guys, Cam is a Ravenclaw. 
and one of my most favorite Ravenclaws and one of Cam's most favorite Ravenclaws from the Harry Potter movie and the books is Luna Lovegood. So, of course, we got the Luna Lovegood um, wand. And these wands are totally different. For some reason, like, these wands are totally different from the ones that they have at Universal. I love these wands that's in Harry Potter and why. Um, so, Cam's wand is a, it's a bit special. So, she got Luna's wand. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. But, the special thing about it is, I got her name. Where is it? It's right here. So this says Camden. It has her name on it, her full name. So this, the wands are actually $40. And then to get it engraved, it's $10 more. So I paid $50 for Cam's wand. And next is my wand. And I got, like I told you guys, I'm Slytherin. I'm from the house of Slytherin. And I got the Slytherin mascot wand. I got the Slytherin mascot wand. It's so cute. Look at it, look at it, look at it. No. I named this Nagini. It wasn't my pen. I named my wand Nagini. It wasn't the pen. I named the wand Nagini. So this is Nagini. And you know what? My pen can be Nagini too. So <laughs> this is Nagini. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So this was $40. And the thing with the mascot wands, like the house wands, you can't get them engraved. So that's the bad thing, but they're so badass. Like they're so badass. So Okay, so this is the last thing that I got from The Wizarding World or Harry Potter and Why. Um, it is a crew neck, a Slytherin crew neck, and it was $55, but well worth it. It's so cute. So the back here, it says, great ambition, period, period, period. And I just love the details. Like, it says Slytherin going up the side, like so cute and like the little design right here like the cuff design in the bottom and then the front says ambition pride and cunning so it says ambition pride and then it says cunning here and then it has like the slytherin emblem a logo cute as hell like so cute um so I'm like super obsessed with this. I got this in a size medium. I love it. I like stuff oversized, so it seems a bit oversized and I love that. <sighs> That's all the things that I got um, from The Wizarding World, Harry Potter and Why. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you're excited to see my face again because I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. I'm going to try to continue to push push out as much content as I can. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm in a new a new area. I am no longer in Brooklyn where I was before. So, yeah. This will be interesting to make new content in a new place. So, let's get started. Let's get started. That is all that I have for you guys today. Stop what you're doing if you're not already following me. Follow me right now. Go and follow me on TikTok if you have TikTok at crooklyn underscore curls. Go and follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me at crooklyn underscore curls. It's all the same thing, y'all. Follow me on every single platform because every single platform, I make different content. None of my platform contents are the same. And that's what's so amazing about the content that I make. So if you are new here, welcome to Crooklyn Crew. If you've been rocking out with me from the beginning, from day one, when I used to say, Brandia Crooklyn Crew, I want to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for rocking out with me. That's all I have. Like, subscribe, share with your family and friends, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.